Hello everybody, D Shaney here, and today I'm going to show you how to use your Elgato Game Capture HD. So, if you've just bought one and you don't know how to use it, well, lucky for you, you clicked on this video. Now, let's start. Okay, here is what you will find in the box. Here is the Elgato itself, a USB to mini USB cable, an HDMI cable, a component adapter, and and a special cable made just for the PS3, but I'll talk about that later. I'm going to show you how to use this for all the systems, but for now, I'm just going to start with the Wii U. Now, you're going to have to unplug your HDMI cable from your console, in this case the Wii U. Now, plug it in to this side of the Elgato. Sorry, since I'm holding the camera, I have to do this one-handed. Plug in the the HDMI cord from your Elgato box into the corresponding port. The other side into where you unplug the first HDMI port. Now, plug your plug the small end of your mini USB cable into the Elgato's port. And the other end into your computer. Also, I want to point out, this is for Windows 7 and above only. And if you're a Mac, well, I don't even know. If you're a Windows user, you can't use anything under 7, so... Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. But if you don't have a laptop, and your computer's on the other side of the house, don't worry. Simply just unplug your system, and set it up where your computer is. Then, you're gonna need a spare monitor. But if you're in this situation, where you, your monitor does not support HDMI, you don't have to worry. There exist adapters that convert VGA to HDMI. So we just plug it in, and voila! Now, all you have to do is download the software. Go to the Elgato.com website. Uh, <laughs> that was embarrassing. Now, when you're on the site, obviously you've been here before, otherwise, <laughs> where else would you have bought it? Now, click on Downloads and Support. Come down, and then go to Game Capture HD. Or Game Capture HD 60, depending on which one you're using. And there will be two downloads here. Windows 7 slash 8, or OS X. I, I'm really not good with the Mac products. But, I'm using Windows, so I'm going to download it here. Once it's downloaded, you promptly install it. Then when it's installed, you boot it up. Now, here's where the fun starts. Click on Settings to choose what your... Here it has an options of systems to use. Since I'm using the Wii U, that's what I'm going to choose. You have a bunch of settings here that you can choose from. But we're going to stick it on here. If the picture is showing on your TV, then that means it's a good sign. Now, here you have to choose the title of your video. And here, the game. You have some streaming and audio options here. But, and in edit you can choose the directory by just clicking here, or just whatever you do with edit. You have options for commentary and etc. Now, to start recording, you press capture. Simple as that. Then it exports to whatever directory you've put it in. Simple as that. Now, let's go to the other systems. Now remember our component adapter from earlier? This, well... If your, your system isn't an HDMI system, don't worry, that's what this is for. Here I have to show you my Wii standard composite cable. This comes bundled with every Wii, obviously, otherwise you wouldn't be able to use it. Now it works like so. Get the, re get the red and white and plug them into, into here. Simple as that. And the yellow goes into the orange, or on the camera it probably looks like red. Don't get this mixed up with the other. And then you will be able to record 
your gameplay. However, there are more cables here, that's because it's a component adapter. The Elgato has support for both composite and component and as video. Now, I've showed you, I've showed you the composite, and now let's get rid of that because bleh. now if you have a Wii component cable, you can get them off eBay. It will push your Wii to 480p. Very useful. However, mine is on the bootleggy side. Yeah. The sellers don't really tell you that when you buy stuff on eBay. So, these two are connected together, so you know which is for which. Plug them in just like last time. And then the rest is goes with its corresponding color. Great, now let's plug it into the system. Now, we're going to remove the HDMI cable from the front, and right next to it, you plug this in. So yeah. Now, now you can basically capture your, your old gaming system, and just configure it the same. Alright, we're back here. Now, we're going to just click on here. Now, instead of the Wii U, we're going to click Other. And if this is Xbox 360, you can select that as well. <laughs> you can have this set to whatever you want, but recommend having it at the best. Now, if it's not showing up on your TV, slide this slider. Keep sliding it until the picture on your TV is crystal clear. On this, click OK. And now, you can record your Wii, or whatever other system you're using. I have only ever tested this on my Wii and my PlayStation 1, but I'm pretty sure it works for all the others. You'll have to see for yourself. Ah, but there's one last thing. Rem remember this? Well, here's the problem. You see, PS3, as I didn't understand earlier, uh, does not allow you to record through either of its ports, either the multimedia port or the HDMI port. So that went to some confusion, but Elgato has promptly fixed this problem with this cable. This cable defies it and, go and can get you a perfect 1080p through the multimedia port. So, let's see how it works. At the back of the PS3 here, we have the HDMI port and the multimedia port. So what we're going to do is, we're going to unplug the HDMI port and put the special cable into the multimedia port. Okay. Now, in the same port where you had the component adapter, this is where you plug in this cable. This is not for HDMI. Okay, now, we're going to go to other and select PlayStation 3. Alright. Now, what we're going to do is, we're, go we're going to turn it on, but not the usual way. Here's what you got to do. Hold down the power button. If it beeps once, keep on holding. And if it beeps twice, that's when you let go. The second beep indicates that that the that the display settings have been reset, so you're going to have to fix it manually with your with your um, PS3 controls. All right, I've got my PS3 controller. Just the PS button. Anything you do. Now, here's what you do. Go down to settings and. Display settings, video output, and component D terminal. Select change, then yes. 
select 1080p, select yes, and now your PS3 is in 1080p, ready for recording. And even if you have an older model PS3, which doesn't have an HDMI port, you can finally use it in HDMI. Except you'd have to have the Elgato software plugged in while you're doing this. Alright, let's record some games! So, if this video was helpful, please leave a like. If you had any issues, just leave a comment. So, stay tuned, and stay awesome!